Assalamu alaikum, and hello everybody. In this lesson, we will discuss how to draw array diagrams for convex lenses and concave lenses. First, draw a convex lens with a dashed line on the inside. Draw the principal axis through the optical center of the lens. Mark the focal points F and 2F on the left and right of the lens. Draw a narrow shaped object near the lens. Draw a ray of light from the head of the object through the optical center of the lens without refraction. On this ray of light, draw an arrow indicating the direction of light propagation. Draw a ray of light from the head of the object parallel to the principal axis. Draw an arrow on this ray of light too. Draw a refracted ray passing through the focal point F behind the lens. An arrow must also be drawn on the refracted ray of light. Notice that the light rays that pass through the convex lens are not focused. This means that no image will be produced on the screen placed behind the lens. On the other hand, a virtual image can only be seen by an observer who sees through this lens. To draw this virtual image, a dashed line, that is, a virtual ray, is drawn from the actual ray of light to the left of the lens. Virtual rays cannot be drawn with arrows because they are not real light. At the meeting point of the virtual rays, a virtual image is drawn with dashed line. As the object moves away from the lens, the rays of light passing through the lens will change. The size of the virtual image increases as the object moves further away. When the object is at the focal point, F, a virtual image is formed at infinity. When the object moves between F and 2F, a real image begins to form on the right side of the lens. This image is enlarged and inverted. As the object moves and approaches 2F, the image also approaches 2F. When the object is at 2F, the image is at 2F as well. At 2F, the size of the image is equal to the size of the object. As the object moves further away, the image begins to approach the focal point. The image size is continuously reduced as the object continuously moves away until when the object is at infinity. An image will be formed at the focal point, F. To draw a ray diagram of image formation for an object at infinity, use the following method. Drawing a ray diagram of a concave lens is the same as convex lens. Draw the lens, the principal axis, focal points, F, Draw a narrow shaped object close to the lens. Draw a ray of light from the head of the object through the optical center of the lens without refraction. Draw arrows to show the direction of light propagation. Draw a ray of light from the head of the object parallel to the principal axis to the lens. Draw this light refracted upwards, as if it were coming from the focal point, F, 
on the left side of the lens. Draw arrows to show the direction of light propagation. Notice that the light rays on the right side of the lens are not focused. This means no images produced on the screen placed to the right of the lens. The virtual image can only be seen by an observer who sees through this lens. To draw the virtual image, a dashed line, a virtual ray, is drawn from the real ray of light to the left of the lens, passing through the focal point, F. Virtual rays cannot be drawn with arrows because they are not real light. At the meeting point of the virtual rays, the virtual image is drawn with a dashed line. As the object moves further away from the concave lens, the position and size of its image also change. The farther the object is from the lens, the closer the image is to the focal point of the lens. When the object is at infinity, an image will be formed at the focal point, F. A concave lens only forms a virtual image. The nature of the image is that it is always upright and diminished.